hi aries welcome back again to your channel i'm going to get into a bonus read for you guys okay it's not going to be a very long one so what i'm going to do i'm going to attach this one to a prior video that you might have seen okay all right my darling so if you are new here welcome and if you are returning back to the channel i welcome you guys back you know you're a diamond please continue to shine bright like a diamond all right, let's get into a prayer, you guys, because a prayer is must for the ones that are new here. We do pray, and for all my returning seekers, just know that you are loved and you are appreciated by me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and also for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body, my spiritual body as a vessel, as your vessel giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Aries, for your bonus read, just know that this reading is a general reading or not a personal one. Um, so it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. It could pull in your person's energy. Whether you're dealing with a past person um, it could be a future person or it could be a person that is to come, right? Place them where you need to place them. Cross watchers, please do the absolute same. Same thing applies for you guys as well. Your person is your person who first came to your mind, okay? That is your person. Now, the roles could be reversed, okay? I could be saying he, she, you, him, her, okay? Just place it how you need to place that. Now, personal reading is also available here on the channel, you guys. Um, and if you are interested in having a personal reading with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I have provided for some of you guys, for all of you guys, in the description of the video, okay? Now, as a disclaimer, you guys, I do not hold appointments for anyone. Um, you contact me, you pay for your reading after a date and time is set, you pay for your reading and your appointment is for you to keep. It doesn't matter when you place it, okay? Also, my darlings... A lot of times you want me to do a reading for you right now, right now. I cannot do a reading for you right now if I already have appointment schedule. I do have a very tight appointment schedule, you guys. But I always do my best to get everyone in as soon as I can, okay? If I could change things around a little bit, I always try to make some adjustments to have your reads done. But I cannot um, do a read when you say you want to have it right now. And I already have someone scheduled, okay? All right, so I hope that you guys do understand that. All right, let's go ahead and get you an angel. Um, I've already blessed my space. I feel, I feel like I need to do that. So it's already blessed. Let's get you an angel here. This angel is for me to keep. As always, this angel will help me to get through this read. Um, to help me to get away anything that doesn't serve me any good here and to protect myself and also my secrets for those who are watching. So what is the angel here, please? What is the angel here? Look at the sunlight, you guys. Let me let me bring some of that sunlight in. Some of that good energy. All right. So what is the angel here, please? Angel, what is the angel and your number placement in line? For the bonus read for Aries. We have the angels of health. The angels of health. Look at that. Critical. The number 16. The 16th angel in line. Okay. Um, when this angel comes through. It, it really kind of. Have me a little bit shook. Because it makes me feel like there's a situation. Where someone is dealing with some health issues. Or maybe someone is having some, some concerns. About their health. Or if it's, if it's not you, oh, look at that sunlight. If it's not you, then it's definitely someone that is connected to you that is dealing with something that is a health hazard, whether it's a past situation or one that one is presently dealing with right now or one that is coming, okay? So let's see why um, this is coming through. This angel is here. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what your challenge is right now. All right, angels, what's the challenge here for Aries and the bonus energy, please? What is it that you need me to share at this time? What is it that you need me to share at this time? 
for Aries, please. What's the challenge? What is the challenge for Aries at this time? Okay. All right. So presently, your challenge is that you need to know that you are able to, let's just say you're able to kind of um, go into the center of a situation and rectify what you're dealing with. This is simply because we have an arrow here, okay? Now this arrow is let me know that you need to surround yourself with a protective energy. Protective energy. Um, let's just say this, um, Aries, I really feel like I'm not really surprised that this is your challenge, you guys. Simply because when the angel of health came true, it, re it really made me feel like someone needs to kind of look deeper into themselves, pass the surface and go within, um, and it's all about your energy. This is what is within, okay? Um, really taking care of you, really focusing on you, really surrounding yourself with positivity, taking care of yourself mentally, emotionally, and financially here. Kind of not resonating or letting anything um, set into the energy that you're trying to reach out to or try, the energy that is trying to come towards you. Now, what you did not see, though, on the back of the deck, and you're going to be shooken when I show you, okay? And remember, I'm going to take you back, okay? We have, once again here, the angel of health. And I already told you that I was a bit concerned, you guys, when the angel of health, anytime I'm doing a reading, whether it's a personal reading, whether it's a general reading, um, or if I'm just meeting with someone randomly off the street and just telling them, hey, so and so and so, and the health come true, it makes me feel like there's an awakening here. The medicine mother is here, you guys. The medicine mother is here. The medicine mother is here, you guys. Look at the medicine mother is here. Without a doubt, this medicine mother is here here for a reason okay this is a situation that is needing great attention now the mother the medicine mother is saying that you need to honor your inner knowing honor your inner knowing to know that you have been seeing some signs of something okay there's been some kind of a sign here you have seen the signs whether it's a sign for you or whether it's a sign that is connected to you, but the signs are crystal clear. And I do feel like someone is not honoring these signs. Oh my goodness. The medicine mother is here to warn somebody that it is time to honor your inner knowing, your inner knowledge. It is plain as day here. All right, let's get into it, you guys. Let's get into it. All right. Angels of health. The 16th angel in line. What is it that I need to share with my Aries at this present time? What is it that I need to share? I don't know why I'm having the need to, to say sister. I just, I just felt like I need to say that right now. I'm hearing my sister. My sister. This is what I'm hearing, okay? I don't know who that is for. But I'm hearing my sister. This is what I'm getting. I'm keep hearing sister. All right, let's see. Let's see what angels are saying here. What's the message for Aries at this time? Angels, universe. What is it that you need to share with Aries at this time? Medicine mother. All right, let's 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 see what's what this is, okay? All right, hmm. Let's clarify some things here. Now, the first card that came through for you guys with this bonus one is that you are dealing with a situation. There's someone here that is dealing with a coworker here, okay? This is um definitely job um related, okay? Um 
This co-worker is full of nothing but hate in their heart towards you. Co-worker hater vibes is what they're on. However, I'm also seeing two situations that is also coming in. I'm hearing a family member treated you like shit here. Okay? There's a family member that acted stupid or still acting stupid or something. If this could have been a major betrayal. What is this that I'm hearing? Okay, so I'm hearing heartbreak. Heartbreak and feeling of being alone hurts me. I must let go. All right, so for some of you guys, you're either feeling like this so-called family members. And remember, guys, I did pick up a sister. I don't know why I kept hearing sister before I actually started your reading, okay? But just know that the sister role could be in the reverse as well. But the family member treated you, whoever this person is, treated you some kind of way. Um, and it did bring some kind of a heartbreak here. Heartbreak and feeling of being alone. Um, feeling of being alone really hurts you, but I feel like you're trying to separate yourself from this. Um, angels uh, did say, um, you know, you need to take care of you. <laughs> you need to take care of you and along with the medicine mother that came through that says you need to honor your inner knowing. Honor your inner knowing to know that it's okay to be alone. Love is what you need, of course, but love is something that is given um, freely for some of you. You must know that. And love also comes with respect, okay? Someone could look right dead in your face and say, I love you, and they still stab you right in the back. Someone is saying, I love your kisses, but I hate you. I hate you and the drama that you bring. I love your kisses, but I hate you. Why am I feeling like somebody is hiding under the shadows here? Wow. What is this? Tell me more. Okay. So this person is saying that, yes, I'm guilty. All right? Whoever's connected to you, yes, I'm guilty. I'm proven. Uh, yes, I'm proven guilty, but I'm, I'm sorry. I'm guilty. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm guilty. I feel blessed to meet you, but I'm committed to another. For some of you, you're also dealing with a third party situation here. This person might already be connect connected to someone else. Can I be faithful? Can you be mine alone? So someone is wanting to eat their, have their cake and eat it too. This person might don't want you to see anyone else. They want you to be exclusive with them, but they still see other people. I'm hot and cold at times. Do you still want me? This person is moody. <laughs> moody as hell, okay? Moody. Ain't you just saying that you need to trust no one but yourself here? And you have to move with caution. It's time that you move with caution. Tell me more. Tell me more about the situation. Workplace drama. The workplace drama is coming true. The co-worker that is aiding is coming true as work true drama. This person is trying to block your flow here. This person is talking. They're talking. Okay. There's a lot of talking. A lot of gossiping that's happening with this workplace situation here. Back and forth. Want to love you, but you make it so hard. So not only are you dealing with work for workplace drama, but you're also dealing with a situation with family and friends and, and, and romance and everything else in between is what I'm saying here. Someone is making a situation hard for the other person to really bring their guards down and allow love to come in. Want to love you, but you make it so hard. This could be you. I feel like this is you that wants to really love this person. It could be, like I said, it could be a sister with the roles that are reversed. It could be a romancer. It could be these hater ass people on the job. Who knows? But you're definitely surrounded by something here. All right, angels. Angels of help, number 16. Give me the messages here, please. Messages, please. Messages for Aries and the bonus at this time. What's the message? The Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Look at that, you guys. The Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I do feel like for some of you guys... 
um, you know, with the King of Pentacles being here in the upright, you're definitely working on you as far as maybe you kind of fix in the situation with family and friends and relationships here. Um, you're really trying to have peace. You're really trying to have a, a, a solid foundation here. You're not trying to go back and forth with anyone on their miserable energy. You just want to move forward. You want to be happy. And this is what I'm seeing that you're setting for yourself. You're setting goals. You're setting achievements. You're setting your bar up high. And these people are miserable. There's someone around you that is really miserable and they don't want to see you flourish. They don't want to see you excel. They don't want to see you manifesting greatness. Somebody's jealous. It's jealousy. Okay? Because this is why their energy is in the reverse. In the reverse. The King of Cups. These people are low, 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 low vibration. Okay? They're not bringing anything towards this manifestation that you're doing here. They're not. What they're really trying to manifest towards you is setbacks. And having you feel like you can't accomplish anything here. Medicine mother. Medicine mother. Okay? Medicine mother, honey. Somebody wants to have a conversation with you. Who's this? Who wants to have this conversation here? The four of swords in the reverse. The six of wands. Huh. Oh my goodness. And the six of swords. We know who those, those people are. Okay? Because, see, you already know these fake-ass people. You already know these people coming towards you with nothing but problem. Problem from one problem to the next problem. And a lot of things that doesn't serve you. And victory, because they know you're going to be victorious. Because, see, you're working on you with the Ten of Pentacles. And you're achieving what you're working on you about with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles are Six of Wands. Victory, you're getting what you always wanted. And the jealousy is real. But some of you need to know that because you already know who these fake people are and the fake situations are, and it's time that you really resonate to you where you're taking care of yourself, your health, your inner peace, your soul here. You're moving away with the six of wands. You're making a choice. Now, I do feel like the choice that you're about to make is going to be a very difficult one because you don't want to be alone. But for some of you, it's a fear of being by yourself. But where you're going to find is with you, when you get to where you need to go is peace. You're going to have peace here. You're going to have a place of sanctuary is what I'm hearing for some of you guys. Um, I'm, I'm getting the help from the mother, the, the medicine mother here. Because let me tell you something. What I'm hearing, yeah, you're manifesting something here. You're getting what you want. When you get to where you need, there's people that's going to be coming in to help you here. To build in your money. To build in where you need to go. I'm seeing you buying a house on your next chapter or a car. I'm seeing you investing. You're really making a plan. You're putting a plan in place here. And the plan that is coming true is coming true in abundance here. The wheel of, of fortune. This is all your luck here that you're manifesting. Somebody's really trying not to have you see a situation very clearly. They're going to be exposed here. I'm hearing somebody's about to be exposed. What is the Wheel of Fortune here? What is the Wheel of Fortune? What is the Wheel of Fortune for this bonus read? The Eight of Wands, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Devil. So see, the cycle is about to end, you guys. It is ending because whatever you're making a move out of, let's just say that situation is toxic. Let's just say that situation, someone here is, is either um, dealing with some kind of an addiction here. What doesn't serve you? Um, I do feel like, you know, whatever it is that you were trying to change as far as this person is concerned and the situation has changed, you cannot change it because it has been blocked in the reverse, the four of pentacles, okay? They will never change. These people will never change because they think their toxic life is the life to live, okay? You're making a move, you're making the descent, you, you're getting ready to really embark on something victorious here. Once you make this change, this move, what I see is the Eight of Wands, you guys. And the Eight of Wands is bringing you everything suddenly. Something very swift is coming. Something is coming very fast towards you here. And it's charging in really fast. But 
you're going to have to set yourself free because something is coming to an end here. Whether you, you know, for some of you guys, whether you like it or not, something is coming to an end. Either you're going to put it to an end or they are. Or they are. Because right now you're exhausted. You're exhausted, you guys. You want to be free. You want to be free. You want to be happy. You want to have the perfect love. You want to have the perfect stability and balance in your life where you're not struggling or living from paycheck to paycheck or wondering what the hell happened to your money in the bank. Okay? Because you already had a tower situation already that you might have came out of. But for some of you went back into the tower moment. Something very shocking here. We're justice kind of was kind of shooken as well. But even through that all, angels still got your back. The medicine mother uplifted your spirit. The nine of pentacles, you're manifesting this. And then while there be the shame or this is how they want you to feel, you're pushing, you're moving. There's a movement. What is the five of cups and the nine of pentacles? What is the five of cups and the nine of pentacles? What is the Five of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles? The Nine of Cups. You got it. You got it. You, you know that song. You got it, you got it bad. Oh, sure, you got it bad, honey. Because what you got is something that is really resonate with you financially. That's really resonate with you um, in abundance here. That's really trying to show you some kind of a sign of love and peace and 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 purification and justification and it just it's just you're just flowing honey you're like a mystic right now in the air you're just flowing in the wind here and you're flowing to a place of peace and and happiness and joy and love honey that's gonna bring you everything that you need okay everything that resonates with you and not only does it resonate with you honey but you also resonates with that with it with what okay because this situation right here that i'm seeing here is one that someone is wanting to see you fall in someone might have, have, have put a, some kind of a well here to have you fall in a trap but see god don't like ugly they already fell in the in that trap themselves without even realizing that they have already fallen i've fallen and i can't get up that's what i'm hearing okay because you're already protected here you have to take care of you, okay? Take care of you. Change your diet around if you need to. Start going for a little walk here and there so you could clear the energy, clear the mindset. Take a sit down in the park somewhere let that good energy of sunlight hit you, okay? And start releasing some of that bad skin that these people might have planted in your mind to have you feel like you're trapped, to have you feel like you cannot move forward, okay? But you can, honey, because the problem that they sent to you already sent back to their mama, to their daddy, and whoever else. God don't like ugly. I keep telling people that all the time. God don't like ugly. What they set out for your bad is going to come towards you for the good, okay? Watch how karma do its job. My darlings, this is going to be your read. I hope that it did resonate with you. Please do not hesitate to thumbs up the reads for me because this is how you support your channel. If you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one simply by leaving your initials down below. And again, pray for me as I'm also praying for you guys. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.